Our next lecture in Art 1280 will be about combining images. And to me, this kind of is really the essence of what you probably think about when you think about taking the Photoshop course or a Photoshop course, is you want to create something cool and usually combine different elements or replace something in one image that may not work for that image but works in another, etc. Um, what is interesting about this combining images chapter or this lecture that I'm going to start is that it's really it's open-ended There's so many ways that you can combine images in Photoshop that we're just going to try to show you as many as possible But there will still be more ways than what I'm going to show you And so before I get started I just want to emphasize that in canvas whenever I show you that this is the wrong chapter um, that you have a slideshow lecture and then beneath that the the recorded lectures that you're watching, if you scroll down further, I include these other videos that are always extra. They're, they're optional, they're for extra help, um, but in this case, for this chapter, they do some really cool things that we're not going to have time to demo in full detail in this lecture or it'll just be super long. Um, so if you really kind of you get the basic stuff that I'm going to talk about in my lecture and you just want more or, or more ideas or more ways to combine images, watch these videos below, especially these ones with the little um, the sky background. Uh, they, they go in sequence and so it's like this giant project that's broken into multiple steps and as you walk through it, it will allow you to create like this really cool complex combined image or it's called compositing. Um, it'll allow you to composite the image and, images and move them together. And so we're going to focus on our lecture right now, but if you, if you really get interested in it, make sure you watch those extra videos. And there's, there's so many videos online that if you just Google on YouTube or go to adobe.com, you can find so many videos on, on methods of combining your imagery in Photoshop. Our specific goals for this lecture are to define what the clipboard is and demonstrate how it can be used when combining images, to identify ways of moving selections from one layer to another or from a file to a new file, to understand what a smart object is and how it is used, to demonstrate the ability to create, edit, and replace smart objects, to list techniques for combining images with multiple exposures. Um, that's kind of advanced, and so I'll cover it a little bit, but we're not going to focus too much on that. Um, if you take the advanced Photoshop or the Photoshop for photographers, that's more of an advanced thing that you'll learn there. Uh, we'll focus on number six here, blending images together using va various feathering techniques. We'll combine parts of images using the clone stamp and clone source tools. And we're at, we will identify components necessary to perform a photo merge. Um, people usually consider this a panorama. And it's pretty cool, and you can do it either from inside Photoshop, or I'm going to show you how to do it through launching Bridge. Uh, we'll use Bridge, and then Bridge launches Photoshop. And then we're going to talk about the content aware fill, uh, but we've already covered that earlier in the semester, so this should be a review of that number nine content aware fill learning objective. 